Let me get one deep here just in case. And one over here just in case as well. Maybe I should actually be building from these things, huh? Found another barracks. My CVs I totally forgot about. And supply depots, okay. I just got totally distracted there. This is the problem where I haven't been playing in a while. Start our upgrades. Stim. Turn on one of these guys. Leg issues, nice. That's a probe. I don't think he got off the ramps. I don't think he knows I have, um... I don't think he knows I have... What am I trying to say? Air turret yet. Supply depots again? Ah. Luckily, I don't have any money anyway, so I'm not having much issue spending this. Wow, I got a lot of gas built up. Can I start building those ghosts yet? Probably, by the time I get supply depots down. Can be time to gather my thoughts here anyway, so okay, let's see. Supply I'm gonna be screwed on in a second again. Got a lot of gas, but that's okay. I'm gonna be pumping medevacs and ghosts and stuff soon, so I have already bought the ghosts. Uh, I got the reactor, so I'm ready for medevac soon. Um oh more upgrades. I got concussion shells and react concussion shells and combat shield. I should probably sell that bunker and just move my units down the bottom of the ramp. <coughs> I'm probably take the Zelnagas. And I love these pauses. These are helping me out a lot. Hmm. So when it starts up, we'll start with supply depots. Uh, one supply depot, because I'm kind of broke. Well, I think there's one completing. Okay, maybe maybe not supply. We'll sell the bunker to start. No, I don't like to do that until I get my medevacs out. Because I could still be susceptible to like a four warp gate. Game resumed. SCV ready. Research complete. Ghost reporting. Oh, I'm some shit. This stuff so right here. Right. Oh, I've got the armory. This man's got range while reading. Couple supply depots. So this thing. Five. 
Seven medevacs. And now that I know I'm just going Templar, I'll get the cloak researched. Ghosts. Ready for dust off. Ready for dust off. By the Oh, the other upgrades. Uh, I forgot the other upgrades. We could use some help Supply here. depots. Wow, that really turned my luck around, huh? Maybe I'm not like 70, 70th in diamond anymore. Um, yeah, I w wasn't really ready to push out there. I just kind of I wanted to get control of the the Zelnagas so I can, um, you know, it safely gives me a buffer seeing his army come in, and that way well, it gives me the ability to cloak my ghosts, get out front, and. Uh, uh, EMP him before his attack comes in. But I mostly just wanted to sit at the high yield and get my high yield expansion going because I did have that command center built in my main base. Problem was, when I went out to take the Zelnagas, all of a sudden I saw where his army was. I saw that, um, you know, he took back the left Zelnaga, then the rest of his army was at the right Zelnaga. So I kind of had to pull my army back, and then I finished Cloak, so I'm like, well, I know his army's right there, so let's just go in with Cloak and EMP him. So I got like, I don't know, probably as good of an EMP as possible, hitting every single Templar and his Immortals and a lot of Zealots. So I figure after that... Cool. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. Yeah, so I figured after that great EMP, it's probably a good time to try to just push in and see what I can do. Um, it wasn't my intended push time, but, uh, well, is it featuring ICC Cup maps or just ICC Cup? Yes, even though that wasn't my intended push time, I figure that EMP was just so awesome, I didn't want to give him time to recharge his energy and his shields. Uh, see a push in, and if things started going badly on the push, I can always pull back to 
where I originally wanted to be, which is just uh, sitting at the high yield and taking my third base. Um, but yeah, that worked out pretty well. Uh, I love how he did all the scouting for me. I just... Uh, <laughs> Uh, he sh gives me the probe to let me know that he's Protoss, and then um, he sends in Templar in his first m mini attack. Um, Templar versus Planetary Fortress is really good because he can kill all the SCVs that are repairing. Uh, luckily I wasn't actually repairing that well, and he didn't really have enough follow-up forces to actually snipe the, fort the fortress itself. Um, yeah, that match just kind of went completely my way, so my lack of macro in those last three matches didn't really matter much when I have uh, some pretty devastating army battle wins. And I guess with that, this is going to be a long ass video, because three games at regular speed, plus all this time in between, I'm going to call this the end and put this up on YouTube. Let me guess how many parts this is going to be. Three videos. What's in the longest games ever? I'm going to say barely five parts. Like I almost could squeeze into four, but it's going to end up being five parts. All right. Thanks, everyone, and goodbye.